Hey guys, I'm Alex from TechnoClass.com and this is the Cherry Mobile Flare HD. Now we've talked about the Flare HD quite a bit in our review, but right now we're going to talk more in depth about its gaming capabilities. So it's got a quad-core MediaTek 6589 processor clocked at 1.2 GHz. The 6589 is one of the preferred processors out there, although the 6582 has a Mali 400 GPU, which is sort of faster. This is packing a GPU of PowerVR SGX544, which is not bad but the Mali 400 is better. Now in terms of pixels, it's uh, packing a 1280 by 720 display at about 342 PPI, which isn't hard. I mean, the, the, the processor can handle that fine. No problem there. Uh, running Android 4.2.2 Jelly Bean, so it's got almost the latest software almost the latest software enhancements and stuff like that. All right, so in terms of benchmarks, as you see right here, it got, it's got a 557.84 refresh rate on that display, so it's got a pretty good frame rate uh, when refreshing a battery level, a battery test of 419 points. Uh, most phones with bi larger batteries get about 500 plus. And Tutu score of 13,069, Quadrant score of 4,629. So it's, that's uh, fairly respectable and just about the same uh, benchmarks as typical MediaTek 6589 processor. All right, guys, so in terms of sensors, we have an accelerometer sensor, a light sensor, proximity sensor, sound sensor. Um, the only gaming capable sensor here, well, the, the only one that is used by games is the accelerometer here. Uh, sometimes games use the orientation or the gyroscope sensor, but those are not available. But only few games do use them, so at least we have the accelerometer, which uh, Temple Run and other uh, accelerometer-based uh, games do you so that's good enough all right so in terms of USB support this guy does not have any USB support even if you plug in anything uh, so USB mice USB keyboards USB game pads USB hard drives USB thumb drives you cannot plug that in um, in terms of memory we have uh, 972 megabytes of RAM about 1 gig uh, that's correct and install space we have 1.2 gig so that's actually pretty decent that's uh, 1.2 gigabyte of internal storage that's a lot allows you to install more than the usual amount of games and we have 1.46 gigabytes 40 48 48 1.48 gigabytes of phone storage now that's definitely low too low so you should install your sd card like i did uh, to expand your storage thankfully you can install apps onto the SD card as you can see here SD card phone storage I chose SD card that would allow apps to install onto my SD card like Game of Games because 1.48 gigs is not a lot all right guys so that now that we've done the, all the tests and the uh, the stuff that we need to test now we're gonna do some gaming tests on this guy uh, right now we're playing um, Need for Speed Most Wanted I forgot how to play this game but we're gonna do it anyway I think we drift by holding this guy right yep there you go um, so right off the bat, the game seems to run pretty good. Um, no frame skips here and there, no lag, not so la so much lag, I guess. Um, oh, there's a bit of frame skip there. And uh, the inputs and everything seems to run pretty good uh, on this game. Frame rate is pretty good. A little bit of frame skips here and there, I would say. But overall, not bad. All right, so that's it for uh, Need for Speed Most Wanted. Let's move on. All right, guys, so here we are playing uh, Dead Trigger 2. Um, and it's running on the Chair Mobile Player HD, obviously. Seems to be running pretty well. Um, I'm not very far in this game, but I do have a gun. Yep. It's pretty dark in this alley, huh? Uh, frame rate seems to be pretty good. Movement seems to be pretty good. There's no lag. Uh, you can muff the sound by going like this with the speakers. Um, but definitely working pretty good. So I guess that's about it for Dead Trigger 2. Runs pretty good on the Chair Mobile Player HD. In HD. Alright guys, so here we are uh, checking out 
Uh, NBA 2K13 on the Terra Mobile Flare HD. And uh, I'm not very good at this game, especially since I'm playing it right next to my camera. But um, the game runs fine. Uh, I'm sure you've seen this, uh, seen me play this. Um, I'm sure you've seen me play this, uh, test this game on the review. But as you can see right here, uh, the uh, the game runs fine uh, and it is quite playable. Although the screen is slow. There you go. Two points. Okay. Yep. Um, so yeah, it runs pretty good. Let's move on. All right, guys, we're back and we're playing uh, Gangstar Rio. This is a uh, sort of a Grand Theft Auto style game, uh, but unfortunately, uh, I guess it's a lot of uh, a lot of phones and tablets have this problem. Uh, the graphics are buggy. Um, as you can see, there are icons on the bottom, but they're not correct, and it just doesn't work that well. So the buttons on those don't work. As you can see the the uh, graphics on there doesn't work. You're supposed to tilt to drive and stuff, but yeah, um, frame rate seems to be pretty good. But unfortunately, uh, just the it's just that the uh, the uh, buttons are not easily seen. But yeah, that's about it. That's Grand Gangstar Rio from Gameloft. We'll check out something else what else right now. All right, guys. So here we are checking out the granddaddy of open world games. This is Grand Theft Auto 3. And let's get let's get in this car right here. Um, all of the buttons here work instead compared to the <laughs> compared to Gangstar Vegas. Uh, Gangstar Rio, I'm sorry. Whoa! Well, that's not good. Thank you. Thank you. I know a place on the edge of the red Um. So frame rate seems pretty good on this game, um, which is great because this is Grand Theft Auto, and you you probably want to play this. Uh, on your Flare HD. Um, it would be great if you can plug in a USB controller because this guy, this game is so much better with a controller. But that's unfortunate. Uh, still, but still, you can sl still play the game and get some pretty good gaming on it. So yeah, that's about it. This is Grand Theft Auto 3 on the Flare HD. All right, guys, so that about wraps it up for now for the Chair Mobile Flare HD gaming test. I might do another one with more games, uh, but uh, that's about it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Maybe part two. See you guys next time. All right, guys, thanks for watching. And as always, if you like the video, please press the like button below. Add it to your favorites and or share it to your friends. If you got something to say, drop a comment in the comment box as well. Of course, more importantly, you should hit the subscribe button on top. This will keep you up to date with our new uploads and helps us out tremendously too. That's it guys, see you next video.